Excellencies, I bring you warm Yahweh from the Republic of the Marshall Islands. On behalf of the President of the Marshall Islands, Her Excellency Hilda Aine and the people of the Marshall Islands, it is an honor to be here today. Excellencies, during the World Conference on Disaster Risk Reduction in Sendai, Japan, the Marshall Islands publicly stated that the Hyogo Framework for Action was never well internalized in the Marshall Islands. This year, I am very pleased to inform the global community that the Marshall Islands is making considerable progress on the grounds to ensure that people's lives and properties are protected. Excellencies, like other small island nations and coastal areas worldwide, there are already high levels of vulnerability to natural hazards in the Marshall Islands. As an atoll nation, we face a particular challenge as there are geographic limitations in relocating away from hazard-prone areas. In population centers like Mejoro and Ibai, hazard vulnerability is worsened by local building patterns, which may hasten erosion. With increasing scientific certainty, climate-driven impacts are an added extra layer on top of our coastal vulnerability, as well as food and water security. These impacts have a direct implication to the general health of the people. Despite all of these challenges, Excellencies, the Marshall Islands has fully embraced the Sendai outcome and has taken the necessary policy measures to ensure disaster risk reduction and climate change adaptations are being integrated into our national planning processes. The Marshall Islands is demonstrating its pledge to the Sendai through the various national plans, starting with the Joint National Action Plan for Climate Change and Disaster Resilience, and the President's Vision 2020, which outlines our government's commitment to reduce risk and build the resilience of our economy, our people, and our land and marine based resources. Now is truly the time to address implementation of key political outcomes, including the Sendai, the Paris Agreement, and the Samoa Pathway. We expect continued leadership and participation from all countries and international partners, and a clear focus on turning words into action. Excellencies, the implementation of these important national policy objectives are not only meeting the global targets under Sendai Framework for Action, but have been important guiding tools to catalyze transformative domestic actions and better movement by our national, regional, and global partners. To demonstrate a few of our actions taken on the ground, I am pleased to inform you that despite the many local challenges, the RMI has an enhanced early warning system to, to strengthen disaster preparedness. The system is still in its infancy. It would need strengthening through capacity building and transferring of tools and technologies needed to make the system efficient and effective. The Marshall Islands is in the process of developing the first ever national building code, taking into account climate change and variabilities and disaster risk reduction. Furthermore, the government has taken the necessary steps to build and establish a one-stop resource center for information, data, and knowledge, including GIS information, to assist us in our short, medium, and long-term decision-making processes. We are improving rain harvesting systems, beginning with remote island schools with higher student populations to protect against drought. Ibai Island will soon implement a coastal protection project that will reduce vulnerability to climate-driven and natu natural ha disasters. Excellencies, these national actions are just, to name a few of our disaster risk reduction efforts to meet the outcomes of the Sendai Framework for Action. We call on the international community and the UN system to take into account the unique need for island-tailored approaches. The extreme vulnerability, remote geography, and comparatively small scale of SIDS demands dedicated attention, including through improved access to financial and technical assistance. It is not enough that our policies are aligned, but it is also actively reflected in our bilateral and multilateral partnerships. Excellencies, the Marshall Islands, like many small island atoll nations, are on the front line of the impacts of climate-driven natural hazards. 
Our survivability not only depends on our climate change and disaster risk reduction actions, it also depends on the actions of the global community too, to take on ambitious targets to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. As a small, developing, low-lying nation, there are inherent limits where adaptation is possible. Thank you, Moldova. Thank you very much, Ms. Jennifer De Bruyne from Marshall Island.